Shout out to them niggas. Texas niggas now. Talk about that a little bit. How you how'd you how'd you uh get on that? That shit right there was um some work from Prozac. Prozac that came through called me or whatever and was like, uh St. Blood, can you come up here, Blood, to the hills? That nigga kept been calling me for about a week straight. And then yeah, one night I came up there, like, all right, I'm gonna come through. About one o'clock in the morning, bruh, it was models and shit walking all around. Where was this at? At Ricky Waters' house. Oh, snap. The football player. Yeah, yeah. He was playing for the name. Oh, off top. So I was like, hey, nigga. Ricky Waters. Just kicking my car, boys, nigga. Ricky Wilder was trying to bust and shit, you know what I'm saying? He was doing a song, he was asking, he was the verse sound, you know what I'm saying? And learning something, doing shit on the, uh, the engineering shop. But yeah, the niggas went over there. Them niggas was all laying around the pool, laying down and shit. We, we came in, it was all rude and shit, bro. Like, fuck you niggas. The football players? Nah, all them niggas jerking them. Yuck mouth and it's true? Yeah, like, who the fuck is these niggas? Really? That's boss me, yeah. Okay, Ooh, okay. So, 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 we see Punk went in here, woo. I don't know what we got the beat from or who we be brought it with him or whatever, but we was playing a beat. Took him about 20 minutes to get that shit right. Right, so I'm just sitting around and uh, see Punk put the beat on and the nigga said, Doc, you ready? I said, shit, play the beat. Then we played the beat. I said, yep, I'm ready. What album was that? Shrooms? Yeah. And, um, we, uh, you know, uh, we went in, that nigga went in there, did his verse, and we yucked my rap little per- part on it. He wanted to yuck my to get on it, on his verse, so they was, uh, interacting with each other, going back and forth, and then my verse. <laughs> and then that nigga yucked my. Got up out the motherfucking couch like, oh, he was the bus now. Who was that nigga? My match. Okay, you was I telling me about the how how Yuck kind of switched his little yeah. style a little bit after that. Yeah, that's why he was next. After they wanted to go next, he was like, I'm going after two because he wanted to, you know, he wanted to be after some heat. And after that, you know, the song came together. Fast Barcelona. The nigga, uh, what's his name, man? So I found it. it. Took me a minute. Are you a real estate investor? Hey, what's your name, man? Congratulations. This is your son, bro. The first step to... That shit right here. What's happening? Yeah. Niggas got to eat this up in this motherfucking nigga. We got to eat this up in this motherfucking nigga. My nigga, yeah, man. Did you have the baby day? Yeah, man. I'm going to grab one of the fucking niggas. Yeah, I'm going to grab one of the fucking niggas. That's a real, that's a, I thought, I always thought that was a fun song, man. Yeah. You feel me? That's something you want to smoke too, of course. But Yuck Mouth, but y'all kind of ate that, ate that guy, man. Yuck, you busted too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Especially you, man. You went in, man. And I was kind of proud of uh, Pro on that too, man. He kind of went with Yuck style and ate him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. okay, that was something. Okay, um. So, um, so you came, you had, you had that, sing, uh, was it a single when you first came? What? When you said you was, uh. Yeah, that was a single. It was just one song. Okay. Okay. I didn't have no other one. Okay. And, uh, so back then the culture was, you know, battling and stuff like that. So you said you guys used to, uh, go around battling the OGs like Doc Shake. Who was on when you came? Nobody. Nobody was on. No rappers. What about funk bands or anything? Um, man, I can't. Oh, you know what? There were, um, there were some groups and shit used to come out of these pods. A lot of a lot of OG groups came up out here, man. We used to have some slapping ass um, Juneteenth festivals. Uh, Peaceful. Yeah. OGs come through that motherfucker, man. I'm talking about shit that we didn't hear for real. Like your mom used to listen to. Yeah, yeah. It used to be thick out there. Yeah. Dead, bro. When I was a kid, a couple thousand people. Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Real thick, bro. Real good food. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. A little place, play. Kids be playing and shit. Motherfuckers in their place and then they own lane, their right lane. That's when they had little the African huts up there. Only a few people showing out. They get their ass whipped or whatever. Yeah, that's that's right. it, bro. I remember one Pacific uh, Juneteenth. Some out of town guys, man. I was just a youngster, you know. 
they came up there and some low riders. Oh, and, yeah, uh, that. yeah. That's what, oh, yeah, okay. But, um, yeah, it's no joke, man, but that was the fun days. Okay, uh, so, uh, the, okay, so really wasn't nobody on rapping. And who is, uh, you say Ad was doing this thing. You say, uh, uh, Dr. Shake, what was it, Dr. Shake or? Yeah, Dr. Shake, Rapping in the Days, MC Shake. MC Shake. MC Shake. And, uh, what's the other nigga? Uh, 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 shit, that's it, man. It was a nigga I thought about. I can't take his name right now. I remember though. Okay. So you was actually one of the first, uh, to begin, uh, pursuing a, a rap career. For sure. So you was around all the, everybody who was basically starting with you. I made up the small town cemetery, man. That's my word. Small town cemetery. There would never be a, a such word if it wasn't for the doc. So y'all thanks for honoring that name. And you didn't tattoo it on your body and shit. You know what I'm saying? Thank the doc.